Hey there, everybody. I uh, apologize for the lack of time between posting videos, but I never really intended to get on and do this for 30 days in a row for a month straight, even though I guess that's what the plan was. But, you know, I'm, I've got a lot of other endeavors going on, including things with uh, my friends, the podcast, and all this other stuff. If you didn't know that, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to update my info or something on here to reflect that. But some pretty big plans in the works in any case. But today's topic is the saddest scene. And it's not as easy of a choice as you may think it would be. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you may not think it would be either. But uh, I have to go with Silent Hill 3 when Heather finds Harry's dead body. Now, not that the whole game and the whole series doesn't have relatable moments. For instance, uh, the whole James and Mary situation, while having fantastic elements to it, you can understand where he's coming from, where he, he loves and misses his wife and he's searching for her. We found out some other less flattering things about the situation later on, but... But that's, you know, that's what it is. The reason I chose this scene is because I think Heather finding Harry executed by the, uh, spoilers obviously, but executed by the cult that he had taken her from as an infant in the events of Silent Hill 1 uh, was a very surreal moment because you witness not only... A supporting character of this game dying. Heather, of course, being the main character of Silent Hill 3. But you witness the main character of Silent Hill 1 is now dead. Which, you you, you grow attached to the character while playing as him through the first game. As you, you would to almost any video game character that you play as that is killed off. Anyone who's played certain uh, like Final Fantasy titles will know the feeling. But, uh... Yeah, it's it's probably the saddest scene for me. It's the closest I've ever came to actually showing emotion while playing Silent Hill, other than fear, which happens quite a bit more than any other emotion for me. But it was it it was a really sad scene, obviously, because like I was saying, you grow so attached to the guy, and then he's there, and it's you, there was nothing in your power to prevent it. I think is what really gets to me, because that's the kind of personality that I have, that even if I can't prevent something, I, I, I'm still looking at myself as if I'm somehow the reason to blame for it, and it, it might sound odd to say this about a video game character, but if I could prevent one game over, one dying, one loss that I don't have to suffer for, I'm going to do my best to do it. So I think this really hit me in that way. So, uh... I guess that's all for today. Sorry about it if I'm a little harder to uh, understand, but the side of my mouth is quite sore for some reason that I'm not sure of, but uh, it's kind of impeding my ability to talk right now. So Anyway, that was, uh, that was today's topic. Stay tuned for more.